All right, so I need to use the code, which is 8818817. Oh, but I don't have audio. Dude, why I don't have audio? All right, so start the timer. So we're on level three. This, this one is going to be hard. Uh, there was some F something, right? That, that I used to, to move. Don't remember which ones. All right, let's just go up. Hope for the best. No, that's not the one. It's F1, I think. Oh, it was F7 to check. All right. Dude, how do I... All right. <laughs> Loser. Take that spider. If there's nothing here. Can you imagine if an arrow chase you forever? I can imagine stuff like that, yeah. That would be like a living nightmare. Alright, let's... ¿Podrías darme algún consejo para pasarte el diablo en el rango S? En Cophead. Pues mira, si juegas la versión actual, te recomiendo usar el Twin Heart. O los dos, el corazón gemelo. Se te da más chance de que incluso si te pegan, puedes todavía obtener el rango S. Y aparte te va a dar más tiempo para practicar lo que sea que te haga falta. Pues utiliza eso. Tal vez armas a distancia. Como este, el P-Shooter es buena. Y el lover también es una arma buena. <coughs> Dude. Use a gun. A piece of me, boy. Take that.
anyone watch TMR stream and have no idea what's going on? A lot of people, but uh, Bodo G Pirate, um, you probably have no idea what's going on with the game, right? That's what I'm gonna assume. So, this game is a pyramid that... Uh, the secret, the quest of Quintana Roo. Quintana Roo is a, is a state from Mexico where the Mayans, uh, the Mayan culture was, uh, uh, well, they, 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 they had a lot of buildings and stuff like that. So you enter this amazing pyramid and enter all these chambers that each one look the same, but they're different in essence. Um, and this guy is like an explorer, so he has like a freaking something, like that radar that I'm putting. It, it tells me if, if a stone is close, that stone is like a key that you use on the, on the actual door. And in that door, uh, you find a, a magic bag or the treasure or whatever you find. So... You can enter uh, on the top of the pyramid, for example, right now, and you just go down all a lot of uh, holes. So right now, I have two things. I have found three stones, but probably I need like a five or six stones. So I'm exploring every room, checking where the hell is... Uh, where is the door? Like, there it tells me that uh, the, the sensitivity of something strange or interesting is between low and high. And this room is gonna be high for sure. So that means that in this particular room there might be something. Then I just switch to my Thank find you for subscribing. Secret. Your subscription counts towards a new game sub goal incentive cap only the best C64 games here. Good luck TMR TMR WTF. Um I did not understand anything. Uh, GG, thank you. Your subscription towards, towards a new sub goal. Oh, there you go. So you see, there's a stone, and I just fucked it up here. Uh, so you have to be careful of spiders. The, the problem while covering a stone is that if I try to find something of interest, uh, then I have to unequip. And drop that stone. So with that stone, um, oh my god! With that stone, uh, you can once you find the the door, you have to try it in holes. Uh, the stone acts like a key. Uh, so you have to place all the stones. Uh, the game is just programmed that it's just gonna fuck you up or troll you. So what I need, and probably. As usual, it's gonna be in the fourth uh, room, but before doing that, I'm just gonna go here and drop the stone in this particular uh, floor. Because uh, that way, I know where the stone is. So thank you, Gigi. I'll still say you the first RGG live. Where they come to? Uh, the subscriptions didn't count. Uh, well, I mean, certain they did. But it was always like new subscriptions. So yeah, that, that's what's going on. So it's, th this one is a lot of bad tracking. So I'm gonna do exactly the same as I'm doing, like a, f a lot of times. So like, I know that there's gonna be a stone, hopefully, or maybe the door in this particular fuck. In this particular floor. I just need to be fast enough. So there is a stone. So yeah, I have the feeling that... Uh, 
that in the next uh, floor, or floor number four, is gonna be another stone. And here should be the door at some point. Uh, well, I still need to explore to make sure nothing is out here. Oof. Barely made it. Still nothing of interest. Huh, this is, this is quite interesting. So the snakes are the worst by far. <sighs> and it's a little hard for me to reach out, uh, especially if a new enemy or something shows up. But here it says that there's something of interest. Hopefully, it's not a stone. So hopefully, this is the door. <coughs> Yeah, that's the door, and those are the holes, and in those holes you have to try each of the stones you find. So there is five there, that means it should be... S Maybe there's only five stones, or sticks, who knows. So we know there is one there, that was the fourth, right? Wait, was the fourth or the third? Now I don't remember. Well, I'm gonna go here. Hello, Hood Brubas. So I have not explored the third nor the second, alright. I mean, this is... Really? Ты играешь стеж министрантом и несешь щечка. А не, это щечка, то есть докладнее щечка, но не несешь там щечки до алтажа. Она есть, чтобы мог э, видеть, где ходишь.
Because of recent update on spreadsheet, info messages are a bit broken. You fix it. You might wanna try to refresh browser source when you I got the time. Oh you fix it because of the day of the spreadsheet well um nether flaps so, so to, to make sure that doesn't occur and you don't have to worry more than what you have to maybe you should tell us which sheet to don't move at all so i will let know tetomu and, and mca and all the, the people helping We've been waiting for you. So I mean, in theory, now that I started over, it should have, you know, like start over that that thing, but I can try to restart it, to refresh. Refresh Kachi of current page. For first browser scene when it becomes active. Right. Hopefully it will be it was that sheet. Graph were moved off, so the sales ID change. Graphs. <sighs> mm. It's going to be fixed, no problem. Oh, thank you, Tetomo. Sorry for the disruption. No, it's fine. I mean, thank you. Thank you for letting us know. I will have no notice. <laughs> this is how you shall play in the game. I never notice when something is broken. But thank you for letting me know. I think it was in this one. Oh, this is the one that has two, right? Yeah, you fix it to a new look, but just let, let, let us know exactly which graph, what is the proper name of the tab, because there is no graph tab. There is the RGG list, RGG stats, or well, I mean, probably also the, the stats are being taken from a lot of the sheets, right? So, yeah, I mean, damn. Now Tetumu is restricted to Don't take down my best soldier. So in case you're wondering how long this is going to be, you're about to find soon how long it will take. After I move the next one here, I still need to bring one more stone. Welcome. Welcome. So there is a doll of four stones right there. The and it should be five stones total. Thank you, GG, for gifting to Nether Flaps. <sighs> that subscription or gifted sub comes towards adding an extra game in Retro Game Gauntlet. I believe that. We're gonna have a lot of amazing games, right? Only amazing games. No, I was gonna sub. Don't worry, you can always share the love of the sub. To somebody else you can always gift a sub that's not good but i mean not good for rgg but it's good in a way for welcome, people welcome, welcome, welcome to
to the Messiah Wolf. Siaoran Wolf, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. Your subscription also counts towards adding an extra gamer in RGG in the current console at the moment. Also, by subscribing, um, as long as you're a sub, each calendar month you can submit a game for the very last category that will be playing RGG, which is the sub category. Glad to have you back on Twitch. Thank you, man. I'm glad to be back as well. So I'm, I'm not sure if tomorrow and after tomorrow I'm going to be playing Ghosts and Goblins because I need to practice. Uh, so there is a chance tomorrow and after tomorrow there is not going to be RGG. Just to clarify, if anyone subscribes tomorrow or donates tomorrow and after tomorrow, that does not count for RGG2. But it's really appreciated. Just to clarify, because sometimes... Oops. Sometimes people is... It's very excited and, and it's like... Monkey. Hello, Anna. How are you doing? Not soup tomorrow. You can soup tomorrow. You can soup any time of the year. Any time. You can even soup when you when I'm offline. I mean, that, that would be amazing. That's the true support. Alright, so I have five stones. And I have this snake that is freaking wild. There you go. So you have to try stones. And hope one is the one you need. You try all the stones and... Oh, wow. So it's actually random, but it always seems to be like the very last one you try, the one that works. Alright, so now I need to collect again the five stones and make it back here. Which is gonna suck. And to do that, I'm missing four stones, right? We have to detect again. G and G new or old? The new one. The well, I mean the resurrection. It's gonna come out for switch, for switch, for 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 PC. I don't know if it already came out. Maybe I should give a try to that version. Unless I will be able to play with a freaking normal controller. Normal, a little better controller. Mm. So, yeah, two games got accepted uh, from the ones that I submit. Uh, two games got accepted, which is uh, Baltos 100%, which I'm very happy for. Baltos is a cool game, my favorite one, so I'm really happy that got accepted. Uh, Ghost and Goblins got accepted. I'm, I'm very sad that uh, Cuphead didn't get accepted. I mean, every single time I submit with Jason, they never put it in. They don't want a freaking epic race to happen. They just don't want that. And that's sad. That's sad. Did I submit Blagger? No, I did not see the blagger. Didn't even know the game existed until the day I played on RGG. And the submissions were about two months ago. But you can submit blagger if you want for the next SGDQ or GDQ.
Also, I don't have the original console, so for that reason, I didn't submit Baltus on, on Amiga. Man, playing this sort of games on RGG gives you endless opportunities for being in the awful block of GDQ. <laughs> All these games are horrible. <laughs> of course, like this one doesn't have potential, but there are some, some jewels that could have a lot of potential. On the fact that you're able to beat a game. Dude! I didn't check that room, but I can assume it didn't have anything. You thought I'd submitted Barbers to Space Mutant? I only submitted three games. I don't have a clue which room, room was this. When is GDQ starting? I don't have a clue. At some point in time. Wait, what? I usually just wait for chat to tell me, July 4th. The 4th of July, isn't that like a very important day in US?
do you cook anything with chili chipotle? No, I have not even opened it, but I'm very curious. Like, probably I'm just gonna do potatoes and mix, mix the chipotle with mayo. And that will be it. Yeah, I have not cooked anything. I have not even opened them yet. So we rolled C64 or those. For RGG, C64, overall, if you get good games, those. Is it like really chili peppers? What do you mean? Like those chipotle? Of course the real chili peppers. It's a kind of chili. It's like you have different kinds of cheese and you ask me if one cheese or another. Is it real cheese? Well, usually it's a, a real cheese. Chipotle is dry jalapeno. No, Chipotle is not dry jalapeno. I'm just fucking saying that it's its own kind. Dry jalapeno. Where are you from, man? Where are you from that you are such a, an expert at freaking chilies, man? Where are you from? I want to know. I want to know. This is what we need, man. Experts at Chile. You're from Chile. Yeah, but you, you were not the one with the wrong answer. See? And that's how someone reads it who doesn't know, and then he's just gonna remember that shit, and then he's like, This is Chipotle just like a dry jalapeno man. Fake news right here in chat. I mean, you can spread fake news, but don't spread fake news about tacos and chilies, please. Not in my chat. I don't care what you do in other streams. Here's we're purest of chilies and tacos. There's no way I'm gonna let freaking fake news of chilies and tacos be here. There's no way. Hello cheese. You can unfollow if you want. Alright, what number is this? This is fourth. There's still a lot of rooms to go. Ruby! Man, I hate when they put the snake to welcome you. I wish someone would send you some chilies. Weren't chilies expensive? Uh, they cost like 10 Polish zloty, which will be like 55, like 55, 60 Mexican pesos uh, a can. I mean, it wasn't too big the can, so... At this point, I really didn't care if that was expensive or not. Like, it's so weird for me to find any sort of kind of chili here. That I just saw that, I was like, I'm taking that. To be fair, I just got robbed in the shop because they're supposed to have like a discount of uh, two Polish Zwotich. And when I look at the ticket, it didn't have the discount. So I got robbed totally, but I'm just too lazy to go back to the shop and say like, hey dude, your chilies from Mexico that no one really knows what fucking sort of chili is that, and thanks to that I'm buying the chilies at a better price, 
You didn't give me a good price. What brand? I don't even remember. It was like uncle some shit. <laughs> the brand that I don't even know. But what I know is that that they were made from me made in Mexico, so it doesn't matter. Like as long as it's made in Mexico, you know it's a real chili. Didn't you already find four rocks? Yeah, I find four rocks. But you need five rocks, not four. No, it was not Uncle Ben. It, it, it has a different thing. That Uncle Ben is not from Mexico. Uncle Juan. <laughs> I need to check which one it is. But I mean, it's either I try to beat the game or I check the, that thing. <laughs> Uncle Juan. Man, what the hell is this? That was nothing. Hmm. Maybe the fourth one. Before I, I don't I don't even remember which ones I already been. May twenty sixth is Mother's Day in Poland, yeah. But today is Mother's Day in Mexico. No, it was not Erdes. Erdes and La Costeña I will remember. It's just a brand that you just didn't... I mean, it's really hard to say it's a brand. Like, the label was printed here in Poland. So I, I don't exactly know what is it. I mean, I, I, I can go and check and bring one can. All right, let, let's just... Let's just bring the chilies because people is not going to leave me alone. I don't answer that. And second... The fuck, man, I don't know where was the stone. Right. This is it. Casa de Mexico. I've never seen such a thing like this, but whole chipotle pepper. That's what we need. We've been waiting for you. And it's made in Mexico, so yeah. Yeah, I'm Mexican and I have never seen that. And a lot of people probably have never seen that, but well, that's something. I have not even opened it, but I mean, as long as I know it's Chipotle, so it should be fine. Um, potatoes with Chipotle, yeah. Here we go! I'm gonna go to the third one. Shrimp, potato, and chipotle con mayo. With. Mayo is mayonnaise. Mayness. Mayonnaise. That's mayonnaise. 
All right, let's go with the freaking stone sour. Oh yeah, it's true. It is only four, right? If I already use one, there should be less stones. I think the person was right. I mean, it's just because I didn't remember what I did last time. I screwed up. Vamos a poner a bailar. La cumbia metalera. Rock! Heavy metal! Baila heavy metal! All right, so I need to find two. Buy the heavy metal. Da na 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 para trás. Da 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 na pa pa na pa 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 na na na. Nicely done. Pa da 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 na pa pa na pa na na. Rock! Look, that's those snakes. And the mommy. Do think that <sighs> I don't know if I can survive here. Well, we'll see. There's a high chance I will die, but I, I don't know if you die, like you lose all your progress or not. Yeah, this is very bad. If the game crashes, all right. No, one fucking hour to the beam, man. Ah. <sighs> So fucking annoying. All right, I need to pee. I'm gonna be right back.
We've been waiting for you. Yeah, that's how you waste one hour of your life. The beautiful game that if you die and have lives, it fucks you up. Beautiful, man. Wait a second, and the fourth and the third, the fourth and the third, the fourth and the third. Okay, Nick, thank you for the 44. 
viewers ray that's a freaking huge ray thank you thank you kionic welcome everybody Spasiba. hope you're having a good day and yeah welcome everybody i'm doing a retro game gauntlet it's a pretty amazing project but you only get to play shitty games that's pretty much it the best way to describe it and here we are with this amazing game called the quest for Quintana Roo. Now this is weird. Is shipping to Poland expensive from US? It depends which service you use. Usually between five to ten to fifteen dollars twenty. It depends also how heavy is the package. A puta madre, man! Right, hope to don't die. Please be the gate. Please be the gate. Please be the gate. Fifth fort, third.
Do I have a favorite Mexican dish? Tacos, actually. I do love tamales a lot. Uh, I do like pozole. I do like uh, chilaquiles. Chilaquiles enchiladas, all that, quesadillas. So which one is this? It was the fifth, right? The fourth, the third, and the fifth. Tamales en comal con café. Tamales rancheros, de hecho. Los de hoja de plátano. Esos son los que me gustan. Have a good run. <laughs> well, I just hope to don't die and lose one hour of progress. That's all I hope. This is the fucking worst in the very top. It's so easy to get poisoned by those snakes. The worst freaking spot for this to be. Ah. I need to remember this one in the feet. Hoja de plátano, esos tamaulipas son veracruzanos, pues en cada lugar los llaman diferente, en México los llaman oaxaqueños, o no, de hecho los llaman norteños, creo, no, oaxaqueños, los llaman oaxaqueños, en cada lugar los llaman diferente, pero no cambian, son es hoja de plátano, de pollo, también los de salsa verde, pipián.
Yeah, those are really great. My favorites. Also, I like empanadas, uh, garnachas. Tamales de rallado de naranja. I have never tried something like that. A cascara de naranja. I have never tried those ones. Doesn't seem like my kind of taste, to be honest, but... But who knows? I might get surprised, right? Ever had street, sweet tamales? Yeah, I have had sweet tamales. I mean, I still like rancheros. With pork or chicken, it's fine. I got lucky there, honestly. That was a big gamble. Should not play that risky. The mole, those are also good. The salsa verde, it's also very good. Nopales and salsa verde. I do like nopales as well, but I mean, not my favorite dish. Tacos by far is my favorite dish. Well, I mean, maybe it's not considered a dish, but yeah, that's my favorite for sure. I also like uh, platanos machos. Fried platanos. Those are really good. You got bigos today for dinner, that's that's really good. But it tried something this weekend called Bitki Bowove. Bowove. Bit, bitki Bowove. Those were really good. Man, this sucks. Like, like this position of the stones and the position of the door. Like, probably it's better to restart if the fucking door is just right there. My God, it's annoying just to make it to the door. But dude, this is such a bad RNG here. Just ate dinner and this food talk is making you hungry again. Well, what can I say? Capirotada. Yeah, I really definitely don't know what is it. Capitotada. Well, a lot of people have been posting such a great pictures of food in the Discord. Wait. Where the hell is the stone? Oh, there it is. Capirotada is popular in Spain. Uh. 
Yes, Sir Pander has been having pizzas daily. He's like, look at my oven and my pizza. They look really great. They look really good. All the rest of us mere mortals can only... Right, please be it. Of course it's not, right? Of course it's not. Are you the green one? Not. Not. Fucking troll, man. The fucking troll. Well, the fucking bullshit. Alright, let's we got a stone here. Fucking sucks. I'm just gonna unbill the stone. I'm getting really hungry. Man. I have to go because there is no time. There's no time. All right, so that's one. We need to find two and three. And four. So I need to find three stones. Every day is a good day for pancakes. Last time I had pancakes, I think it was a AGDQ 2018. That's the real last time I had pancakes. He has a freaking... What is the name of the monkey that has like a freaking ass callus? He has... his, his anus is like that. Baboon. Yeah, I guess so. I guess that's the one. That's how the ass of this guy looks like at the moment. Oh man. It's a shame I had to waste that freaking hour of gameplay. It's a real shame. If you're working, why are you watching TMR? Dude! Ah, puta madre! Oh man! I'm so glad that Mr. Gitman advertised you some months ago. He has been advertising it since like six years ago, but thank you, and Mr. Twister. Really happy Gitman also promotes my stream. He's a pretty cool uh, streamer in general. And yeah, like uh, a lot of people who watch his stream, well not a lot, but some people come to watch my stream. I mean, I try to keep it 
in a language we can all relate to. This is actually not bad. All the stones are here, so this is gonna save some time. There is a stone here. Berga. Stop the fucking snakes, man. Alright, this kind of sucks in a way, but it is fine in another way. Tell me to check this room. No, I don't have to. I already have it for. I mean, still just in case. Alright. I, I couldn't read the whole message. Wait, what? It's one. Supposed to be the number two. So wait a second, what the hell is the... Which floor was that one? We have three, not four. Welcome, 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 mother welcome brain to the Mexican way. Yeah. Thank you for your forty four months. TMR two. TMR two. How was the piano? How is my day today? Well, I had a death and then the life don't matter because the game is gonna kill you, yes or yes. So it was kind of painful, but we're doing what we can. So I hope your day is good. What's the story or mission in this game? The mission is to recover the treasure. To get the treasure you need to put five keys in the well, you need to try five different keys. I'm not sure if it's the third... Which one was the one? You need to try different keys. Different keys in the key room. And uh, once you get the sequence right, then you can... You can do it. Retrieve the treasure and you beat the game. So there's a lot of rooms that they look very similar. You have a sensor that tells you if something is of interest in a particular room you are at the moment. For somebody who doesn't play piano, how to read notes, it's been really well. <sighs> That's cool, man. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a lot of grind. This is a game that looks like, say, five screens repeating. Yeah, but you need to remember which which screens you have been. See, like, you can enter in, in each side of the pyramid on each level, and each level, the, the farther up you go, the more levels down you have. And, well, once you find a stone, you need to remember which uh, level was that you find the stone. Because then you have to put the stone back. I just don't remember, like... So I'm missing one stone still to get. Might be on the other side. Or was it here? So I'm checking. I'm double checking here because I totally forgot. All I know is that one of the stones is already in five. 
Yeah, and I totally forgot. That means it, it was not here. Yeah, but you can say the same about music, right? Music is just the same 12 notes, repetitive in a different patterns. That's music, right? And there's a vast variety of music, so yeah. You can say the game is five screens, but if you use your imagination, it can be a whole freaking amazing action experience. And I'm gonna go here. Dude, you know what? to the fucking top. So you just need to find one. Also you need to avoid getting hit or beaten by the spider because there's not many uh, potions or well antidotes, herbs that will help you. So if you get beaten then if you don't you yourself then you die and that's really sad whenever it happens also in the keyhole thing you want to hope you get actually the good one that you need because if you don't then well, you have to grab more stones back hello faceless funk i think this game is pretty cool I mean, it's definitely way deeper than what I originally thought it would be. Just lucky there. So that, that was a kind of ballsy move. The extra game counter only seemed to go up. That's because people have been donating, subscribing and supporting the stream, which is great. Aren't you happy for that? Also, the games beaten is going up. So far, 43 games have been beaten in RGG. Forty-three games. Oh man, this is not good. If the Omar is happy, we're happy. Sometimes. Do a la verga, man. Get more fucking the, the poison, verga. So, man, if I die, then it's pretty much over. I think if you die outside, it doesn't crash the game, but you need to find an antidote. There's no antidote so far. And you have such a limited amount of time. So once you get the 10 seconds, you get a slowdown. Like that. It just fucking sucks because that snake is gonna kill me right now. Forty minutes to the fucking bean again. Just John, how you doing? I died twice and I have lost one hour and forty minutes so far. I guess that's doing fine, right? <laughs> Maybe other version 
of the game. GG. I hate like just trying to find another version of the game. It's gonna take me like 20 minutes. So I guess just gonna freaking rage at dying and not being able to continue. Just it's fucking annoying to know which version I have of the game, if it works or not. Too late, man. I already put the password. Too late. Yeah, the spots of the stones are randomized. And once you put stones in the... In the wall, they if it's the correct one, then it's fine and it disappears the, the stone and the hole. But if not, then it gets randomized again. So you have to go all the rooms, you can only carry one stone at a time. Um, the stones have color, so you could just go straight to the key room, but. It is hard to remember which stone colors you already try on which hole. So for that reason it's better just to go for all of them. See, like that fucking snake almost bite me there. You just one second. Sometimes it's more. So there, it, it shows that there is something of interest close. So this could be the first stone, or this could be the, the map, which is great. Well, actually, that's not great. This is the fifth one, right? It's just when it's the fifth one, it's just more rooms. And you just fucking saw. See, this is just gonna suck because the higher up you have to go is more risk of getting beaten by one of those snakes. Having to go all the way up also is quite hard. More freaking things to dodge here. How does the game work? The game work in a, an animulator in Commodore 64. You have a pyramid that has a lot of freaking rooms. This one has probably like 64 different rooms that all of them look the same, but they might contain different stuff. And, and that's it. So basically you need to collect stones. The stones will help you <clears throat> get the treasure. So you put those stones in those holes there, and if you manage to, to do it right, they will start disappearing, and once they, all of them disappear, then, then you get the treasure, and you beat the, the level. This is the third level.
Why is there a skater bottom right? A skater bottom right? Um, I don't understand. A skater bottom right. I don't see anything on the bottom right. A skater. In the pyramid, do you just have to stay alive or go to the stop? Uh, seven. Oh. You have to stay alive and you just don't have to just to go to the top. Every single. The game is divided in two parts inside the pyramid and outside the pyramid. Outside the pyramid, well, depending on, on in which exact point you enter the pyramid, it's uh, how many of these rooms inside the pyramid is gonna be so for example that where i leave the stone and there was like like holes on the wall um that is the hold on i have to think here i haven't been in the fourth one uh, that is the the key room where you try the stones the, the stones are like keys that you try in the holes if you get the the five the sequence then you get the treasure and you beat the stage so like here i know that in the next room there's gonna be a stone which is great but we have to get rid of the snake snake now the spider and we just take this what's the meter that is the important meter. It tells you the L is that there is something of low interest. The the H is it means that there is something of high interest. So it's just like a magnetic thing that fills relics and shit like that. So of medium interest means that uh, somewhere it could be a, a room up or a room low. It is something for you of interest. The Geiger, yeah, that's the name. I love it. The fucking snake. Snake! <laughs> so I have not been the fourth one, I think. So. So far I have retrieved three stones out of the five. And then you have just to just try a color in a different hole and hope for the best. But I haven't tried like entering from the left. I have not tried that. Also you need to be careful of the spiders, of the shoot of the pyramid that is gonna happen at the full moon didn't happen all right so i need to try this one as well so you need the five stones but if if you insert a stone in the wrong hole then it just gets randomizing anywhere in the pyramid let's see like here it says that there is a stone so i will put four stones Out of five, I have not explored the left side of the pyramid yet. And I have to be very careful. Also, when you put your Gauger, Geiger, or whatever, when you put that, it drops the stone. So it's quite difficult because you have to, to hit a specific uh key on the keyboard in order to grab it again and you know it can fuck you up because the enemies are moving faster what is quintana roo quintana roo is a state uh, in mexico quintana roo was a a person that andres quintana roo that uh, I mean, 
According to the story, actually, his wife was the, the, the real deal. Like, she was commanding and everything, but the fame w was all for Quintana Roo. But his wife was actually the one, like, uh, orchestrating everything. The game has a story. No, I'm just saying who's Andres Quintana Roo. You have to be very careful of those snakes. Don't hurting you or hitting you. So now we're going to the left side of the pyramid to try to... Exp A LA VERGA! Troll, man. Fucking, fucking troll, man. CHINGA TU PUTA MADRE GAME! So fucking annoying because every single time a shit like that happens it's one less freaking herb that you have available in the game but fucking annoying man so fucking annoying In the left side there doesn't seem to be, like in, in the first and second floor there is nothing now. Alright, so I can make it to the fifth floor. So I'm still the fourth and third to explore. Was nothing here also i didn't see herbs right it's very important to remember the herbs don't, don't seem to be many many and this game moves really slow right so we're going to the fourth There is one in the fourth, but it's at the very end. It's gonna be hard to remember that one. My god. And always in the very last one that you explore is the one that is gonna have the thing. Right, the fourth one seems to have two. You gotta remember that as soon as I get poisoned. So this is the one that that is the only one left so it should be a stone here it really sucks that it was the last one but whatever one of these rooms should have the stone and according to this i know this is not the one it's the one below all right also third so fourth and third in the right side
what do the vials yeah those those represent like those like molotov bombs so now now that i have the fifth stone i need to take it back to to the rooms where there was a the key thing while also being very careful to don't get hit beaten or anything i know there is one in this fifth one fourth and third that's all i need to remember Since when did I start the gauntlet? Uh, a month ago. Exactly a month ago, I think it was the 10th or the 11th. You remember the password, nice. Well, I mean, I had to watch it on the... on the Google Sheet thing. Oh, fuck. Alright, so now I need to try this. That's not the one. Wow, alright. So I mean I can try lock. Or try to find out. So maybe I should I'm gonna bring the notepad. I'm gonna bring a notepad, put blue. Blue the fucking color is that? What the freaking color is that? It's not a yellow. It's like green olive, olive green. Olive green and orange. All right, I'm going to try it. I don't know if it's hopefully. Nope. None of them was. And now we start again. We start again searching the stones. Alright, should be a stone here. Worst case scenario, you have to do it five times. What well, the, the grassy thing? That is like a herbs of antidote. But in case you're poison, uh, you can heal yourself there. And once you get poison, you have like a minute to, in order to get unpoisoned. But if you get more than that minute, then you freaking die. And if you die like inside the pyramid, you cannot continue. <laughs> but if you die outside the pyramid, you can continue. Well, I mean, you can just die once. I fucked it up almost there. Yeah. 
just retrieve the freaking ball. Alright, so I was one. Ah, that was this is the third one. So and you need to try and go every single part. I already tried the, the, the first one in the left side. I'm gonna try this is the second one in the left side. And you have to be trying one by one in order to try to get the freaking stones. The stones that are keys to the freaking portal gate that has the relic. The higher up the pyramid you go, the more rooms you have. So that was the second also has, so it's good. good to know, I mean. So I'm missing the fourth one, which is this one. I think I go to the third. And I only have one stone, so there should be four stones total now. So the next room has a stone. So first you wanna get rid of whatever it is there to get rid of. If you can of course, but sometimes you just cannot fucking do it like that. Right, that was this is the second stone. I think if the room is open, it's not worth even checking. There are rooms that are not open. Also, you have time. If you spend too much time in the dungeon, then you can also die. So I have the stone, you cannot carry more than one stone at once, so I have to go to the very freaking top in order to go to the room that has all the keys or stones and put the stones back. I didn't see which color of stone is this one. Let me check what color. So that's the green olive. I mean, I could try this in the next hole. Why not? Try it in the next hole. Olive green. Didn't work. Orange. Right.
wanna put this back, but it's like I have to. I mean, in theory, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be anything here, as I know. According to logic, it should be shouldn't be anything. And still, like the last two, should be in the right side. What I could do is try. The one I have in one of these holes. All right, it didn't work here. I'll leave green. Now let's pray again. The RNG is good. No, it's not. All right. Bullshit freaking snakes. Please don't be the olive green. Alright, this is blue. What's this? What's the second one, right? One year of TMR. GL with all of these C64 games. Um, Corgi bot. Happy birthday. I have to sing for you. It was the second one, I think. Ah. <laughs> we need to change the mic. Happy birthday to oh hold on Happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you Happy birthday Cold Bo Corgi Bond Happy birthday to you Feliz Feliz cumpleaños, Corgi Thank you for the 12 months. <laughs> that, that, that was, I, I'm out of shape, man. I'm out of shape. But thank you so much for the... One full year. Um, can't wait for your birthday. One day, one day is gonna happen. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the. 
Crazy can, can we? we. Joe Mushroom, thank you for the subscription. Thanks a lot. Your subscription counts towards adding an extra game. Really appreciate it. Your day has been made. Very happy to hear that. Also, my day has been made. Thank you, man. I don't remember which color was this one, but in the second one, there is one. The second one. Oh, man. The second one, green olive. So, it should be this one. Right. <laughs> How many games deep in C64 is TMR now? There is the stats where you can check all that info, but I have beaten a lot of Commodore 64 games. <laughs> I'm gonna check this one, since I have to still check one. I know the second one has the one of the stones I need, but I still need to find one more. This is not the one. Right? Yeah, I couldn't risk it. Nice. All right, this is good. I uh, had to enter to this one. All right. It has to be here somewhere. The green, 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 green. So we have two options. Alright, we're, we're very close to beating the game this time. <clears throat> Just need to don't die. Oh, this is not good. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't change the mics back. Welcome, 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 welcome to the Mexican way. You hear the birds? Yeah, yeah those birds are like here in, in my place, but in this mic, you cannot hear the birds. Dang, wish it would be been 64 months during the C64 block. Hopefully, you aren't still on C64 next month. Hopefully? You're hoping so much. Thank you for the 63 months. You like the bird. Yeah, the thing is that when other alerts come, then it's tricky. So this should be this one. <sighs> one more voice, one more. I'm glad I freaking used the notebook. That definitely makes it way easier. It was in the second one. <laughs> I 
Yeah, he meant to say that. But hopefully, I will still be in Ecuador 64 next month. And I'm saying, hopefully, I won't. I won't cry. But honestly, at this pace, probably we will be. This is really bad, right there. All right. It's just a lot of games are really shitty, hard, impossible to beat. And this one, it screwed me up twice. When does the temple shoot at you? Every new full moon. So there's a cloud that goes like next to the sun. And and once it it, it clears, that's the full moon. Alright, this should be it. There we go. We beat the game boys. Hopefully. I mean. That's probably level three again. It's looping. Alright. We beat the shitty game! <laughs> Intense ending, right? It's like... Oof! I beat the game, boys. Alright.